So last week, Ron was asking for a dip idea for the big game, the Super Bowl, coming up. And he goes, look, you're a little on the healthy side. I said, oh, sure, I'm sure I can come up with something like that for you. So here we are. We have a, a dip here, seven, eight, nine layers. I just got so excited in the kitchen yesterday. I just kept chopping stuff up to make the dip. So I can't remember number of layers. But nonetheless, it's going to be a layer dip. But the first thing I did here is I have just a can of of uh, refried beans, which are uh, just in a layer right here. But before I put this into a layer, I did put it into a pot uh, and then added a little bit of cumin and a can of green chilies with it. Got it warmed up, got it nice and mixed in, and where it's a little more, uh, not not thick, but not thin either, you know, but kind of to make it a little bit thinner so it spreads easier. But other ingredients here now that we're gonna be working with is if you wanna do maybe a healthier version, you can go with uh, Greek yogurt, uh, but this is a light version of sour cream, but you're not going to notice too much of a difference there, but go with either one. There, of course, just a can of refried beans, the can of chilies. I actually had to use lime juice concentrated. I don't like doing that, but I tell you what, the limes this season just don't seem to be uh, giving me any juice. There's just really not much going on with the limes, so I just got lime juice, salt and pepper. Then I got some Roma tomatoes and diced those up, took the seeds out, got some black olives, uh, diced those those up as well more tomato and then some of the fiesta blend of your cheeses there about two or three different kinds of cheese and then avocado and such we'll talk more about that here in just a second first things first though is getting the beans done so the beans are done they're in the bottom now of your of your dish here and spread out for the most part as even as you can get it because you want to see those layers the next thing we're going to do is get a mixing bowl and take a packet of taco seasoning i got the mild flavor uh with reduced sodium because think about this this is salt this is salt uh, in your avocado, you're gonna have salt. So we gotta kinda watch our salt here just to be safe. So now we have here the uh, taco seasoning packet that is the reduced uh, sodium. And I'm gonna add in uh, basically this entire container of the sour cream. And uh, you're just gonna mix it up. That's all you're gonna do here is just mix, mix, mix. Make sure that you get the taco seasoning nice and mixed. And you'll notice how the change is gonna happen there uh, with the color of the sour cream. You're gonna start getting that brown in there. And the more you mix, you can kinda see as you go towards the bottom, there's still some of the dry powder hanging out. So just continue on till you get it, uh, I would say to a consistency that you like, but just a nice even consistency through that when you dump a chip into the dip uh, that you're not getting a big uh, bite there of that taco seasoning. So this is looking really good right now. So we're gonna let that sit there for just a second. Next layer we're gonna add here is our cheese. So just kind of sprinkle your, your cheese on top. Again, this is the Fiesta blend of cheese. Uh, you can go with just the cheddar if you'd like, but of course, if you get that uh, Fiesta blend or the taco blend, that's just gonna add another layer of flavor. So put that cheese there on top. Get it nice and spread out and even. See, getting your layers going on just like that. Now we are gonna throw on the mixture we just did here with our sour cream. Again, you can go with the Greek yogurt if you like, but not gonna be too big of a deal. I mean, just, it really depends how you wanna present it. So instead of just putting a big glob in the middle, kinda make some rows with this because it's gonna help you spread it out a whole lot easier. In fact, we'll get that a little closer to the camera so you can see it. There you go. Get those rows going just like that with your plastic spatula so that when you go to mix and spread that you're not gonna make too big of a deal with disturbing the cheese that you put there on the bottom just now and getting it mixed up inside your sour cream. Of course, it's all going to go in the same spot, right? All going down into your stomach, but of course you wanna to try to make it to present the best you can. So there is your next layer with that taco season. Now we're gonna add in the avocado mash. I took about three avocados, mashed those up, salt and pepper and lime juice is mixed in there, and the same thing. We're just gonna put that right there. It's a little harder to make a line with the avocado since it's thicker consistency than it was with the sour cream. But the thing is this all still works the same. Continue to just layer using your plastic spatula. Again, the avocado is gonna be a little bit harder because it's on the thicker side of things. And of course, you can do better at home. I just have to, I have a time, <laughs> a time limit on how I can make this for you. But there you go. Now you've got that on the top. Now start adding everything else. Get your tomatoes and just, you know, kind of sprinkle your tomatoes there on the top. Again, I used the Roma tomatoes. I didn't do anything canned uh, with the tomatoes. Those are kind of uh, not as firm, if you will, and more liquidy. So if we put some of the tomatoes on top, evenly distribute those, get some of those 
black olives, put some of that on the top as well, making that very, very pretty color difference on the top. Looking good, isn't it? Look at that right there. Oh, let's do this over here. Let's make some more. Then take a little bit of cilantro, sprinkle some freshly chopped cilantro on the top there. Get you some green onion, put some green onion on top. How many layers? I don't know, but look at that right there. Does that not look delicious? Your layer dip and overall is fairly healthy for the big game Super Bowl. Ron tries it coming up next.